Hello, this is a story about the Science Museum of Minnesota specifically, but broadly about how big gains in the energy efficiency of large buildings could yield big gains in economic, employment, and environmental performance of benefit to all of us. This story starts with a phone call from this guy in 2008, Scott Getty. At that time, his responsibility was to represent Excel Energy to some of its biggest customers. He wanted to introduce me to someone achieving remarkable feats of energy efficiency. So a meeting was arranged with this guy, Dave Soberg, a one-man mechanical engineering consulting shop. I was wondering how did he gain the attention of one of the biggest utilities in the United States? What did he know that was so important? And the story he told me was this, our large modern buildings, they use enormous amounts of electricity. Electricity inevitably degrades into heat and so these buildings produce enormous amounts of heat that have to be managed, otherwise the interiors would quickly become uninhabitable. So what do we do with that heat energy? Well, we throw it away, we expel it, we get rid of it as quickly and easily as possible. And then we use electricity and natural gas to do the work that could have been done with the heat energy that we just threw away. So intrigued, the Science Museum contracted with Dave in 2010 to do an energy study of the museum. And at that time, the museum's annual electricity use was comparable to all 300 households in this 18-block area of St. Paul. And Dave came back to us with his report, and he said, all that electricity coursing through the Science Museum, it degrades into over 20 billion BTUs of heat energy. And we said, Dave, that sounds like a big number. <laughs> and he said, and you're throwing that energy away, and then you're buying an enormous amount of heat energy. Why? And we said, well, because no one had ever laid it out to us in those terms before. <laughs> so we embarked on an energy efficiency retrofit of the museum, and we purchased two of these machines called heat recovery chillers. They allow us to extract heat energy from where we don't want it and move it to where we do want it. Now our modern buildings are big complex machines, so let's imagine that the Science Museum in itself is itself a big blue box. We buy hot water from District Energy St. Paul to heat the building, we buy electricity from Excel to power it, and all that electricity coursing through the building degrades into heat but more heat in those areas where we use a lot of electricity, like the telephone switching equipment and the computer servers and the elevator motors. And before we did this retrofit, we just threw that heat energy away. But now with the installation of these two machines, we're able to extract that heat energy and transfer it to a heat exchanger. And then in the wintertime, as we pull in fresh but cold air from the outside, it passes through that heat exchanger, picks up the heat, and warms the interior of the museum. So by how much has the Science Museum reduced its heating bills through this retrofit? A, 25, B, 33, C, 50, or D, 75 percent. We now have two years of observational data. We've crunched the numbers, and the answer is D, 75 percent. <laughs> now, so back on the 8th of February, in the morning, it was four degrees outside and the Science Museum was buying zero hot water from District Energy. We were heating the building with heat energy that we used to throw away. But it takes energy to move energy. And Dave said, you know, the electric use of the museum will go up a bit because the heat recovery machines, they run on electricity, but your heating loads will drop so dramatically that it'll be worth it. But actually what's happened is that our actual use of electricity has dropped, even though we're running these big machines running electricity because of all the other cost-effective measures that have become available, like LED lighting. But you also have to spend money in order to save energy and therefore money. And we did spend $800,000 to do this retrofit, but we are saving nearly $300,000 a year for a simple payback of slightly over three years. Of course, we did this project in order to save energy and therefore money, but there were broader benefits. We helped employ the factory workers who built the heat recovery machines, the truckers who deliver them to the science museum, the riggers who move them into position in the museum, and the electricians and the cement workers and the pipe fitters and the software engineers and many other tradespeople to retrofit one building. Buildings use 40% of all the energy in the United States. Imagine the economic, employment, and environmental benefits 
if energy efficient buildings weren't rare, but commonplace. Together, let's convert imagination into reality. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.